Hello, in this video, we're going to see how we can install Cloud Panel on the hosting solution, any VPS provider, and host our um, Node.js application. Cloud Panel, it's a hosting panel that can help you host PHP websites. It can help you host Node.js or Python website or static website if you want. It has a firewall, it has a varnish case, red risk case, and all of the uh, good things that can help you host any website that that you want. It has a nice interface and it is really fast. In this video, we're gonna see exactly how it is installed. We're gonna use Hasler to install it. You can choose this option or launcher, doesn't matter. You can install it anywhere you want. But yeah, for this tutorial, we're gonna use Hasler. And uh, after we install it, we're gonna secure it as a certificate. And after we can add our Node.js application, we're going to use Strapi as our Node.js application and we'll install it. And we're going to use PL2 to secure it in case the server reboots. So the Strapi application to start automatically in case something happens with the server. So let's go and see how exactly we can do all of these things. This is the article that we're gonna follow and install Strapi with Cloud Panel on the Hesner VPS. So in the beginning you have the details about Cloud Panel. Cloud Panel can help you host various websites like WordPress and PHP website. Besides that, you can host Node.js application and Python websites. The minimum requirements for this panel is uh, one core with two gigabytes of RAM and 10 gigabytes of disk space. You can host this on various VPS providers like DigitalOcean, Vulture, Hesner, or any other that you, you may want. And in here, we start with the installation steps. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a Hesner VPS. So I will add a Hesner VPS for this. I will going to use Ashburn for this. I will going to use Ubuntu. For this, I'm going to choose the file shape for this. Should be enough. It has two cores and two gigabytes of, of RAM. I will choose my SSH key and I will provide it a name. Put in here like uh, Strapi. Let me hit create and uh, this should be instant in a couple of full minutes. Afterwards, we can log into the to the environment and we're gonna need to do the installation of cloud panel so let me log in i have here the command i'm just an ssh with the new ip this is the ip okay yes so right now we're logging to the to the Hesner vps the first thing that we're going to do is to update everything in there and install some packages. And uh, until this is running, Cloud Panel has some installation options, like you see in here, you can install it with MySQL, with MariaDB, and you can choose from various versions in here. Also, you can install it in different cloud providers like Hesner, DigitalOcean, Vulture and things like that. And in here you have to specify the cloud for providing the command. This will help you link the installation to the cloud provider, to an API key that uh, will help you create, for instance, automatic snapshots for this. Uh, well, yeah, you can choose from here. We're going to install with MariaDB 10.9. This is the command that I put it in, in here. Let me copy it because soon we're gonna go and install it so let me run this i have started the install after the install to finish i will also reboot the web server to start cleanly so uh, yeah i will pause this and come back after the reboot reboot has been done right now we need to go and access the Cloud Panel admin interface. First time, we need to do that with the IP address and the fourth port 8443. Let's go hit advanced. 
And in here we should be prompted to create a user. Let's see. Okay. I'll create a user. Let me log in with the user. And now this is the admin interface. Here in here we have the admin area and here you have the users that can add events. That is happening here. The service is under instances. You have in here the services that are installed. You see, Warden is read this MySQL and Nginx on the other PHP versions that you need to run PHP. Backups, you have security here. You have the firewall. You have settings in this area. In here, we will have a subdomain to administer this and security the SSL certificate. In here, we have the cloud Esner and you can add your API kit, uh, enable the snapshot settings. So let's go and uh, add a subdomain. For this, I'm going to use Cloud Panel. To add a subdomain, I'll go to the DNS of these things and add a, in, a record in here. I will not proxy it. So I will use Cloud 10 for this. And I will put the IP address of this server. Let me copy this. And I will hit save. So right now, uh, Cloud10 should point the new server that we've created. I will go and add the, let me close this. I will go and add into the settings, the Cloud10. Admin. Let me hit save. This should generate a SSL certificate and you can use it to access this. Okay, let's see. Cloud10. That does that come okay? Yep, it's working. You see that right now it's secured. We log in with the user, and then we're gonna go and add the Strapi application. Okay, in here we can add a website. In the add website, you have the options to add a WordPress website, PHP website, Node.js site, static one or Python site. We're gonna add a Node.js application. In here, you have the domain. We put strapi.bidol.com. Okay, then we're gonna choose the Node version. We're gonna choose 14 for this. We're gonna use the port 1337. In here, you have the user for this, and here you have the password. Now we hit create. Next thing that we're gonna need to do is to point the domain. In our case, the subdomain to this server. So I will add the Strapi recording here. I will not proxy it. Strapi, and I'll put the email address. I'll hit save. So right now we have the subdomain in our case added. And in here, you, you see that the website was added. We're going to go and hit manage in the SSL TLS section. We have the options to generate a certificate. Let me generate a certificate. And it create an install and this will generate a let's encrypt certificate for our domain or subdomain in, in my case. Okay, so right now we've added the website in here. The next thing to do is to go into the uh, VPS and add our uh, Strapi application in there. I'm going to follow in the tutorial in here. So in here you see that I've added the details already. This and for this I'll just Log into with the user and we log in again to the server. Okay, and we log in the SU minus Windows. The Strapi was the OS user for this. Okay, then we need to go to HD Docs. And in this part, we have an uh, website already created. We're gonna bring this because it will be created with a Strapi command in Node.js. And in here, we are just gonna create the Strapi application and we're gonna put the website name and like this. Right now, the Strapi ap application, it will start creating it. It will, we will install the, the quick start because I am just demoing this to see how we can use Cloud Panel to host your Node.js applications in here and how we can. Uh, Activate the PM2 in the end to auto restart them in case your server crashes or re reboots. Do not have problems. After this is finished, we're gonna 
go and do build the strapi and in panel the rest of the configurations let's wait for this to finish okay so right now this thing is installed i would exit this i'll exit this next okay right now i have exit this and what we need to do is to go and build the strapi admin panel i'm already in the hd talk so i will just go into the project that i've created you see in here the project with the details and next we're gonna need to do is to run the run build command so right now this thing is going and it's building the strapi application and then we're gonna start it and we're gonna create an account and see if it's working with the configurations that we've made let's wait for this to to build let me copy also the second command okay and then i will start it okay right now it's started let Let's go and do the therapy come. I will use the admin. Go to the admin. And you see in here it's already starting to fetch. And here we put the username and things like that. And we complete this thing. okay front end available finish save so right now the application is installed so this thing is working with the domain that we have set up the next thing that we are gonna need to do is to install pm2 to be sure that this thing it's starting when you when you reboot the server so to do that let me close this first we're gonna go and run this command we're gonna install the PM2. Okay, we need to be in the same project for this to install the PM2. So right now we're we're there. Okay, this is installed. Then we need to start it with PM2, Strapi application. So right now this thing is started with PM2, and we hit, we need to save it then what we need to do is to go into the into the chrome tab and activate it there at the reboot so first that we need to do is to get our path in here so this is the path that we're gonna use because we need to add it this in the chrome tab and then we're gonna need to add to do chrome tab minus c and in this way you edit the chrome tab and we need to go and add this path in here so at equal with what we've copied and then we're gonna add the reboot with the resurrect and right now we're gonna save this thing let me save it okay we can check on the minus n to see that it's okay so we have it right this the next step that we're gonna do is to reboot this thing and see after that the application starts automatically let me exit this user okay i reboot it so it will take about i don't know one minute for this thing to to reboot then we can do the pm2 stat status to see exactly if this um, strapi application has started also we can access this to, to see if uh, to see if can be accessed successfully and we log in again and see if the server started so the server has started let me log into the user okay let me run that status you see that the application is up right now if we refresh this thing it should work so you see in here that i have the actual application even if the server was rebooted uptime so yeah you see that uh, the pm2 started the strapi application 
thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it in case you liked what you have seen please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button